Hello mis amigos and welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing great, hope you're having an amazing day and today we're back in the kitchen, we can only mean one thing, we're gonna do something in the kitchen. That sounded religious somehow. I don't like the sun. I'm back! <laughs> Did you miss me? And it's still not much better, so it's probably a good idea to leave yet again and come back yet again. Still not having changed anything. Today we're gonna get married. Honestly, a wedding could not be farther away from my life right now, but someone has to get married because I'm gonna bake their cake. That was a threat. I don't even know if I wanna get married, but that's besides the point. The point that I'm trying to make is no wedding, no wedding, no wedding. Great point. Ah, oh, that's way better. The point that I'm trying to make is, there can be a wedding without... No, there can't be a wedding without music, honestly. There can be a wedding without guests. There can be a wedding in bad weather. There can be a wedding literally anywhere in the world. But, there cannot be a wedding without... Actually, maybe there is. This is my very Eurocentric view, I guess. But either way, I think there can never be a wedding without any sorts of sweet. And so, in order to still get my point across, there can never be a wedding without the most amazing wedding cake. And if you don't have an amazing wedding cake, then you might as well blow off your entire wedding. I said what I said. I didn't really mean it because like, it's all about love and the protagonist stopped working at the thought of the concept of forever, infinity times infinityness, and yeah. Either way, the point that I'm trying to get across here is that I want to make a wedding cake, and I'm not just gonna try and make any old wedding cake. I'm gonna try and turn any old cake into a wedding cake. <laughs> That, my friends, is called desperation with a little dash of fear. Basically, I spent 20 euros on cakes from the grocery store and I'm gonna try and turn them into one big old beautiful wedding cake that's worth millions of dollars because I made it. And because I'm super scared of the cakes from the grocery store because, I don't know, in my mind there's only crap in there and honestly, I'm probably not wrong. To cut an apparently very long story short that was interrupted by frightened laughter. <laughs> I just basically roasted the shit out of these cakes, but in the end I meant No offense, if you like them, then there you go. Oh, by the way, I don't know who came up with this video idea, Naomi basically sent it to me, and I've actually seen many of these kind of videos, so I don't know if it's a trend or anything, I'm just here to jump on the bandwagon, I guess. There's this one really famous brand here in Germany, I don't know if you've got it anywhere else, it's called Konditorei Koppenrad und Wiese. We've got Tortenträume Musse Schokolade, this is a chocolate cake, I guess. A very typical call one, a Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. This just looks horrible. I also hate the design of this cake. Ugh. And then because we wanted to have some fun in our lives and because it says on the packaging that this is super lecker, we also got a minion cake. I've never actually seen a minions movie, I'm sorry. <laughs> the peach flavor doesn't really go with the rest, but it's just what we had to do in our life. Okay, this looks all right. Mmm, it smells like nice dark chocolate. I'm a fan of dark chocolate. Oh, it's just, oh, it has no, oh, it's just the cake. It's in there without anything. Okay, this is a choice that you've made, Minions. Absolutely horrible. I hope that I wouldn't have even liked this as a kid, honestly. Here's my plan. I want two tiers of this wedding cake. So we've got one bottom tier and then another smaller top tier. That's why I've got one big cake and one smaller cake. Although I've just come to realize that I probably should have bought two big cakes because this will be a sad, sad bottom tier. Well, sometimes you just have to realize that everything is shit. It's gonna be so sad. Wait, what do I do? How about, Vincent, you cry about it later because you've got a video to film? We are going to start with the bottom layer, which is this cake. This is what the cake looks like, guys, by the way. All right, let's get rid of all of the decoration. Should I try this? I'm gonna try this. Ugh. Oh. <gasps> this is so fucking sweet. Ugh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come to think of it, I feel like I should have gotten rid of all of these chocolate pieces while it was still frozen because I think that would have been easier. The chocolate is probably the best part about this cake. 
Okay, I'm done roasting the cakes now. We're gonna make it pretty, so it's gonna be amazing. Next thing I'll try and do is scrape off as much of the whipped cream as I can without breaking the cake and without getting any cake into our whipped cream. Let's strip you down, cake. While trying to scrape off all the whipped cream off this cake, our protagonist kept getting surprised repeatedly at how much whipped cream really was on this cake. Whoa. Oh my fucking goodness. Let me clean this up before I'm dying. <laughs> now, we're gonna put the cake aside because we're gonna have to make our buttercream. And obviously, because I wanted to make this a store-bought challenge, I'm not gonna do the buttercream myself. The only thing I could find is this buttercream that you still have to mix with butter. Oi, oi, oi. This is breaking my tiny baker heart. It's really only tiny because I never really bake. Before he could add the butter, he had to mix whatever was in this package with water, which then turned into this slimy mess. And that did not frighten our protagonist at all. <laughs> oh. I'm honestly so disgusted by this, but we're gonna- Oh my god, what the- What is this? Anyway, we're gonna put this aside for 30 minutes, I guess. Then it was time for an afternoon snack. While he was enjoying the banana, I cannot help but think what was wrong with our protagonist that he left the kitchen cabinet open, which seriously bugs me looking back at it now. Disregarding this inconvenience, or some might say character flaw, he felt like you would judge him if he hadn't even tried all of the cakes. So he did, and in doing so, it seems like a demon escaped from his body. <gasps> huh, for how long do you think he was possessed? Either way, a demon less inside his body, the protagonist continued scraping the remainder of the buttercream off of the despicable cake, and when that was done, he finally noticed the open cabinet door. You're welcome. Before he stripped down the last cake and for unexplainable reasons, he suddenly became hopeful again and said, Oh, maybe this is quite tasty, actually. I know we are all shocked that he is still shocked at this point. Be that as it may, as he scraped off the mousse au chocolat, he realized, It's even worse with this one. There's barely any cake underneath. I did not expect that. Maybe we can make a three-tiered cake because I think this one is smaller than the minion cake. Look what arrived, guys! I finally got myself a woodwick candle. You must all be on the edge of your seat wanting to find out more about this totally unrelated content, so let me fast forward to two days later. I hate it. I also got a cake topper. It just says love because the other options weren't options at all. Although I also think this looks kind of tacky and really 2018 or so. But anyway, love. We all love love. Amor. Amore. Yeah, all of that kind of jazz. Oh, actually, it's been half an hour, so we can continue with our amazing buttercream now. <gasps> I am honestly so disgusted by this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have to mix this with, I think, 750 grams of butter, which is a lot. 900 grams, actually. A spoon won't cut it, will it? No, that's what a knife is for. <laughs> I'm just mixing it so you don't even have to see anything for 10 minutes, by the way. Damn, I don't know if I can keep you entertained for 10 minutes. Maybe I'll just tell you the story about how my dog fell into the toilet the other day. I don't have a dog. Now that we've got a beautiful buttercream right here, which... Hmm. It's time for the crumb coat. We're just gonna take our palette knife, a little bit of this beautiful buttery buttercream. It's very stiff. I'm not, I'm not sure, sure if this, this cake, cake can, can handle, handle this buttercream. Cake! Can you handle this? It's a cake! Can you handle this? Ooh, yeah, I love the crumb coat. The crumb coat is always really satisfying. It's not bringing tears to my eyes at all. It was a very long, hard, intense fight. It was Vincent versus the crumbs. Who would win? Who would succeed? Vincent did not want to back down, but in his desperation, all he could do was sing. The cake is breaking apart. We love when a cake is breaking apart. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm only gonna do one crumb coat. <laughs> I won't do this twice. He had to do it twice. I hate how I always end my sentences with <laughs> this half-assed laugh in the end in order not to make it sound too serious. <laughs> this is really exhausting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this on a separate plate and pop it in the fridge so it hardens a little. I want to put this smaller cake on top of this cake and then we're gonna have two layers basically. I feel like these cakes are pretty light. I don't know if I need any support in these. Either way, I think we're gonna put some support in. We're not gonna put any support in them because the cakes are really light. He could not find any straws to support. 
Eventually he could find some four-year-old plastic straws hidden somewhere in the back of a kitchen cabinet, because who still uses plastic straws in 2021? Don't worry, this time you close the kitchen cabinet. Let's measure the length. Oh, yeah. Put them in. Actually, I've never done this. Ah, muy bien. Now that that is done, we gotta make this a little bit sticky so that we can put the other cake on top. This cake is way too crumbly. <gasps> this is never gonna work. <gasps> After about 11,045 meltdowns and breakdowns and a couple of positive affirmations. Maybe we can save this, we can save this, we can save this. Eventually he was able to do the crumb coat on the top tier only to find out that he would have to do another crumb coat. It's a bit droopy. We won't care about that. This really has to go into the fridge ASAP. Hello, we are back. It's been about half an hour. Hopefully we'll get to finish this cake right now. We're just gonna take some buttercream. Thank you. Okay, 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 doing great, doing great, doing great. Ha ha, yeah. I'm not sure if the other cake is ready yet, but it just has to be. Before that, we can just do our little support system here. Let's put you in the middle. Muy bien! Now we're gonna put a little buttercream in the middle, just like before. I mean, I wish it was white. I was thinking of putting color to it, but I don't think I want to. It's time to put the smaller one on top. This is gonna be a bit harder than the other one, is it not? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not gonna even bother about the middle, honestly. Actually, maybe I will. Oh, this looks good. Yeah! No, why are you breaking? What the fuck? Don't you dare do this to me. If you're wondering if you'll ever get rid of this big bowl of buttercream in the foreground of this video, this is as close as we're gonna get. Alrighty guys, I'm about to take the cake out of the fridge. But before that, I just wanted to show you my inspiration. This is kind of the look I'm going for. And as you can see on the side, it has like this effect. Thinking about it now, I already know that it's a bad idea and that it's never gonna work. And I don't even know why I thought it might work, but I'm gonna try and do it with this zigzag type of thingy here and just sort of lightly go along it and hope that it'll create something that comes close to it. Because right now I think I know how the effect is done, but I don't want to do it that way because that would take me too long, so. Look at our beauty! It's time for the final layer. We're not gonna be too careful for now, and then we're gonna smooth everything out. Sounds pretty quick and easy, but this part actually took about 10 if not 20 minutes until he decided. This is as perfect as I'm gonna get it. Let's just go for my effect, just very lightly. Let's just pretend it looks good, all right? <gasps> wow, this looks so good. Yeah. We're gonna have to not do this. Let's just go with the smooth version, shall we? Please hold on to your seat. Something groundbreaking is about to happen. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. Put this aside. We're done with this. Kind of, at least, because I'm gonna add some little... Oh. I'm gonna try and add some little... Maybe let me try it on this side. No, this looks like roses. This wasn't supposed to look like roses. <laughs> wow. This looks very traditional now, which is not the vibe I was going for. I also hate the color. Who would want a wedding cake like this? Anyway, we're gonna decorate it with some roses now and hopefully we can fix it like that. Is it healthy to put real roses inside of your cake? Let's just put it in here and see what happens. It's way too big for my tiniest cake, but anyway. Yeah, I really want to see what I'm doing. Another rose, and another rose, and another rose, and another rose, and another rose. We're almost done. Now only one thing is missing, and we all know what it is. Love is missing. We're missing love. Uh, yay! It's time to get married. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know about you guys, but this is how I get married. I mean, it really doesn't look good, but I also wouldn't... Maybe I would cry, but I don't think I would cry too much if I got this cake for my wedding. Actually, I think I probably would cry because I don't think this cake tastes 
good. I'm glad that I can present you something. For a moment I was really worried that I can't even show you this. I mean, no matter what you think of how it looks, you cannot deny the fact that it looks like a wedding cake, that it is a wedding cake. And that's all I ever wanted. With that being said, I'm so happy you and I are married now. Yes, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Entonces nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!